Hello folks, it's Lord Comet, and this is the Let's Riff of Mapper, and this is actually our K port. This is game is awesome. Now it's Vintage 1983. This is an actual arcade port, ladies and gentlemen. This game is awesome. Basically involves a mouse dealing with four cats and a hell of a lot of trampolines. I prefer girls jumping on trampolines, but <laughs> we'll get into that another time. Oh boy, what a way to start off a Let's Riff. Get gacked. <laughs> anyway, Mappy carries a stick. He doesn't use it. <laughs> he his love life. But, um... The object is, is to collect all the uh, little objects down there, like the priceless artifacts, what have you. And use the trampolines to your advantage. And the doors, and so on and forth. Now, the little, uh, the little, uh, glowy doors mean that, uh, Mappy can use them. And have them go get knocked backwards. They'll get, you know, like, like, equivalent to, like, Pac-Man eating his power pellets and making them... Look at this. Look at this dip nipple head. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, he gets away. But anyway, um, all the, all the cats have different names on them, but I keep forgetting what they are. See? That is so much fun. Now, you only have, like, a minute or so to get the, uh, get things done. But if you do, th if you collect things in twos, you get more, ex more points. It's a lot more fun this way. Anyway, the cats themselves cannot break the trampoline. Only Mappy can do that. It's kind of a weird thing about the game. Now, they all always come from the top. Always. Now, a little bit of timing does help. You only have so many doors that are glowing. Like that. They really help out if you know what you're doing. Like, for example, you collect a TV. See the TV blinking? Grab it for extra points. And you just go... Whoop. Now, the, now the, notice the trampoline turn different colors. And that's an extra dude. Now, if the game says, hurry, it goes, and the music beats up. It's kind of, it's kind of like Dig Dug in a way. Now, this is the bonus round. Raw. Don't miss one. One botch will cost you very dearly. Like that. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, epic fail, I know. Now, if you're shooting for maximum points, always uh, go for the item that you collected last. Of course, you can do them any any way you choose. It's just you won't get the maximum pointage. A little know-how goes a long way with this game, and a lot of luck. <laughs> and the cats do run faster than Mappy gets sometimes, so you got to be really quick on the draw. Now the big cat doesn't really chase Mappy; he just does whatever. Now, if you follow him across the screen a little bit... Uh-oh. There's dumbass. But anyway, um, he'll hide behind stuff, but that's the most extent you'll see out of his sorry ass. But anyway... Now I'm doing a lot better. God, I love this game. This game is great. Oh, well. <laughs> if you die while trying to uh, in the middle of collecting something, you'll lose it. So you have to redo it all again. Oh, you'll keep the item, but you won't get the bonus points. Which is a suck. Whoops. Oh, well. Since I've got everything out of, out of order anyway, let's just, you know, grab things as we go. Look 
that hoser! Oh. I find it amazing the cats can't break the trampolines. Ah. Anyway, folks, send me back your feedback. Let me know what you think. This game, um, for all futures and let's rips of all kinds. Do let me know what you guys think. I love hearing your feedback. Of course, me epically failing in this game. <laughs> well, I think that would be classified as it, ladies and gentlemen. But I still could first place. But anyway, um, if you got any let's work requests, do send them my direction. That'll be great. So I can see about getting to them. <laughs> anyway, folks, this is Lord Common saying, hope you enjoyed this one of Mepe for the arcade. Have a good night, all, and God bless.